everyone and welcome to this video quickly explaining all the killers in Dead by Daylight. Everything in this video is up to date as of patch 5.1, so any killers added after that time will have their own video. Trapper sets down bear traps, don't step in them, survivors can disarm them, Trapper can pick them up. Wraith is invisible, no tear radius, no red stain, moves faster but cannot attack. Can still break pallets, walls, and generators. He goes bing bong to uncloak, gets a short speed boost to hit survivors by surprise. Then he can bing bong again to recloak. Billy has chainsaw to go vroom vroom across the map. After too much vroom vrooming, the chainsaw overheats and burn Billy's hand. If Billy hits a survivor with his chainsaw, they take two health states of damage. Billy's chainsaw likes eating pallets for breakfast. Nurse moves super slow, but she can teleport with blinks through objects and walls to catch up to survivors. She has two blink charges. A few seconds after blinking, she suffers a short fatigue. Michael Myers is a stocky boy that starts at tier 1 evil within. He has no tear radius, red stain, and cannot lunge. He stalks some survivors to get to tier 2. This is permanent. He moves at normal speed now and has a red stain, small tear radius, and can lunge again. Stalking some more survivors gives him tier 3 evil within, where he has an increased window involved speed, increased terror radius, increased lunge range, and applies exposed to all survivors. Tier 3 is temporary, and then Stocky Boy goes back to tier 2. Hag is a slow killer that likes to draw triangles. When a survivor gets too close to the triangle, a clone of the Hag pops up and forces the survivor's camera towards it. Hag can choose to teleport to this trap and attack or surprise the survivor from behind. Survivors who are crouched don't set off traps. Survivors can cook the Hag's traps with flashlights. Huntress moves slow but has 5 hatchets to throw at survivors. Hatchets hurt survivors by 1 health state. She can reload her hatchets at lockers. Doctor is Zappy Boy. His static blasts apply madness to all survivors in his terror radius. His shock therapy throws a cone of electricity in front of him. Survivors it hits scream, gain madness, and cannot perform interactions for a short while. There are three madness levels. Madness 1 and 2 are minor, with doctor hallucinations and misplaced skill checks. Madness 3 is the serious one. Survivors will randomly scream and cannot do any interactions except vaulting and throwing pallets. Survivors must snap out of it to get out of Madness 3. Cannibal, aka Leatherface, has a chainsaw with three charges that go swoosh swoosh and gives him a speed boost. Using a charge extends his swoosh swoosh time. Any survivors hit by the chainsaw take two health states of damage. If he runs into an object, Cannibal gets a big mad and can't move for a short while. Leatherface still deals damage while he is big mad. Freddy is invisible to awake survivors when far away, but appears when he is close. Awake survivors can hear his terror radius. Survivors slowly fall asleep over time. If Freddy hits a survivor, they are instantly put into Dream World. Inside the Dream World, Freddy has a lullaby instead of a terror radius, which has no directional qualities to it. Survivors can wake up by failing skill checks, doing a wake-up interaction, or using alarm clocks. Freddy can put traps to slow survivors in the Dream World when they step on them. And Freddy can teleport to generators that he chooses at any time. Pig can crouch to hide her red stain and tear radius, but moves slow. She can dash out of her crouch to hit survivors. Pig can put reverse bear traps on survivors in the dying state. When a generator is powered, the trap activates. Survivors must search jigsaw boxes to find the key and escape the trap before the timer runs out and it eats their head. If the survivor tries to leave with an active reverse bear trap, it eats their head. Hatch is safe though. Clown likes to make tonic. Yellow tonic is good and gives everyone a speed boost. Purple tonic is bad for survivors. It intoxicates them and blurs their vision, makes them scream, and applies hindered so they move slower. If yellow touches purple, they both disappear. Spirit is slow but can enter a phase world where she moves really fast. In Phase World, she cannot see survivors, but can hear them. Survivors that are not close to the spirit will hear this phasing sound when she is phasing. The spirit has unique twitchy animations while chasing survivors, making it harder to keep track of her. Legion moves fast with Pharaoh Frenzy and can vault windows or pallets while active. Hitting a survivor will apply deep wound and put them in the injured state. Survivors in Terror Radius are revealed by Killer Instinct once a survivor has been hit by Feral Frenzy. Legion suffers a short fatigue when Feral Frenzy ends. Plague is sick and throws up on survivors. She can also throw up on objects to infect any survivors that touch them. Survivors that are sick gain more sickness as they run or do interactions. 
Survivors that are super sick have permanent broken effect and spread sickness to anything they touch. Any survivors that touch these infected items or the infected survivor will become infected as well. They can cure themselves at fountains. Plague can then drink from the fountain and her throw up will deal damage instead of sickness temporarily. Ghostface is stocky boy number two, and he can crouch to be sneaky, but will move slower. Night Shroud hides his terror radius and red stain, allowing him to stalk survivors. Stalking a survivor all the way will make them exposed. Survivors that look at Ghostface can reveal him so he can no longer stalk. The survivor that revealed him will have a killer instinct effect. Demogorgon puts portals on the ground and can travel between them. When it emerges, it has the undetectable status effect for a few seconds. Survivors on the Demogorgon portals will be oblivious, and will also have the option to destroy the portal while on it. Demogorgon has a Shred attack that lets it dash forward quickly and deals one health state of damage. Shred also breaks pallets and walls. Oni makes injured survivors drop blood orbs. He absorbs these orbs to activate Blood Fury. This gives him super speed and allows him to instantly down survivors with charged lunge attacks. Lasts a limited amount of time, then he goes back to being normal. Deathslinger moves slow but has a harpoon gun. He shoots survivors and can reel them in. If survivors break the chain, they get deep wound applied and the Deathslinger is stunned. If survivor is reeled in all the way, Deathslinger can hit the survivor for normal damage. If the survivor is healthy, they also get deep wound applied. Pyramid Head can make trenches on the ground. Survivors that step on them get tormented and have Killer Instinct effect. Pyramid Head can throw out ranged attacks in a straight line that deal damage. Tormented survivors can be sent to cages instead of hooks. Tormented survivors can be instantly killed if they are on their final cage or hook. Blight goes zoom zoom. He can rush forwards but can't deal damage. If he hits a wall or object, he can dash again for a lethal rush and deal damage with this lethal rush. Lethal rush can also break pallets and walls. Blight has 5 dash tokens. At the end of his dash, he suffers a short fatigue. Twins can separate. When Victor is out, Charlotte loses red stain and terror radius. Victor can pounce onto survivors to injure them. If they are healthy, Victor inflicts the broken, oblivious, and incapacitated status effects, prevents leaving out the exit gates, and reveals nearby survivors with killer instinct. Survivors can take the hatch with Victor. The survivor must remove Victor to get rid of these effects. Victor can also be placed in one spot and show killer instinct on survivors close to him. Survivors can crush Victor and he will respawn with Charlotte. Trickster has throwing knives that deal laceration to survivors. At 100% laceration, the survivors take health damage. After enough knife hits, Trickster can activate main event, which lets him throw an infinite amount of daggers much faster and it gets no slower speed while throwing. Main event is temporary. Nemesis can hit survivors with a ranged tentacle attack to apply contamination. If survivors are already contaminated, they take damage instead. This makes Nemesis mutation rate go up. At mutation rate 2, he can break pallets and walls with tentacles. At 3, he has longer range. Survivors can cure themselves with vaccines, but there are only 4 on the map. Survivors that use vaccines get the killer instinct effect for a few seconds. Two zombies also wander around the map and can contaminate and injure survivors. Survivors can also stun zombies with flashlights and kill them with pallets. Nemesis can hit zombies with tentacles for mutation rate. Zombies respawn after a short while. And those are all the killers quickly explained in Dead by Daylight. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Dead by Daylight content, as I will have more in-depth videos on each killer coming soon to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, good luck out there in the fog, and see ya next time.